uh, are called the game form. Uh, they are defined just according to the rules of the game, and it has nothing to do with the personal features of the players. So the third part is the utility function of the players, and uh, it's a map from consequ consequences to, to the reals, and there is one for each active player who played the game. Uh, in this game, in, in, in this presentation, we'll, uh, we'll present uh, a kind of equivalence between just game structures, that is, games without consequence function and without utility function. So, we are defining a kind of equivalence between uh, games uh, up to terminal nodes and nothing else. Uh, we, we are allowing also for uh, imperfect information. That is, uh, it can be the case uh, that uh, some players are active and uh, mm, they are not able to, to realize uh, if, uh, if they're active at one node or another one, just according to the rules of the game. It means that uh, if a player is active at a certain point and then is active again later, it has to remember that, uh, that he already played before. So it cannot be the case that uh, these two nodes belong to the same information set. And we are going to define in a few what, what is an information set. Uh, also, the, the, the game structure is common, no common knowledge between the players. It means that uh, each player knows that uh, the structure of the game is that one, and uh, each player knows that each player not, knows that uh, this one is the game structure, and uh, third, each player knows the, each player that knows the each player, and so on. Um, there are various um, various ways to represent uh, game structures. The first one is the extensive form representation. That is the classical one uh, with a tree. And at, at each non-terminal node, uh, there is uh, an unempty sub sub subset of players who has to choose simultane simultaneously some actions. Here, for example, at the root of the game, there, is, uh, there are two players, A and C. The first one, player A, has to choose between action A1 and A2. And simulta simultaneously, player C, as to choose between C1 and C2. After this simultaneous choice, there is player B. Player B can, is, ab, is able to, to, re, to recognize only the action of player C. Indeed, if player C plays C1, then he has to play B, B1 prime or B2 prime. Otherwise, he has to play B1 or B2. And he has no way to infer what is the choose of player A. It means that uh, if B is here or here, he's not able to, to recognize where, where he's playing. It, someone asked him, you have to play between B, B1 prime and B2 prime, but uh, there is no way to see if it's here or here. Okay, another way to, to represent game structures is the normal form. To, to define the normal form, we have, we have first to define the information sets. Information sets is um, a partition of all the nodes where the player is active and is not able to recognize where it's active. And in particular, it is the courses partition. It means that, uh, for example, in this game, the information partition of player B is this one and this one. Because the, the, players, the, the nodes where is active, is active is one, two, three, and four. And the courses one is this one. The courses partition of this set of nodes where is active is that one. OK. At each, uh, at each information set uh, of each player, we can, 
each player uh, has uh, the same set of strategies that has, has to, the same set of action that he has to choose. Whenever this player fix one action at each information set, is likely to, to fix a contingent plan. That is, uh, if he, he fix, uh, fixes his choice, whatever the games, the, uh, whatever is the situation of the game. And the set of this profile of actions is called uh, the set of strategies. If we think that uh, each player fixes one strategy, then the path of the game from the root up to the end of the game is unique. It means that uh, at each node, everyone knows exactly what to do. So even if the, if the game is not finite, the path is uniquely determined. So it's well-defined uh, a realization function that is uh, a map from the, from the set of strategies, that is the profile of strategies of all players, to the set of terminal paths. Uh, here we call terminal paths if, uh, if we are allowing not only for finite games, but also for infinite ones. What is a normal form? Given a game structure, its normal form is defined uh, as the set of players, and for each one is set of strategies, the set of terminal paths, and the consequence function, the, the realization function. Now, uh, it can be the case that uh, if a player chooses his, strategies, his strategy at the, beginning, at the beginning of the game, uh, the realization, the, uh, the terminal path that he's going to obtain is always the same whatever is the strategy of the co-players, of the opponents. And uh, it's quite... Uh, unuseful to, um, to draw both rows of, in this matrix. So we can del delete the, the equal ones and uh, define the reduced normal form. For example, here, it's a game where at the root uh, there is player A and C. Player A has to choose between A1 and A2. And uh, player C has only one available action. If player A chooses A2 here, then he has to choose again between A3 and A4. So he set the, the set of strategies of player A has four elements because it's a pair of action, one taken from A1, A2, and the other one taken from A3, A4. The fact is that in the normal form, if we take A1, A3, or if we take A1, A4, the, uh, the terminal path that comes from the realization function is always the same. That means that if we are going to draw the reduced normal form, we, are, we can just write A1 instead of two rows equal. Another, things for, uh, another thing, for player C, there is just one available action. And it means that uh, this matrix should have three dimension, but the third one is, uh, is forced. I mean, even if we de uh, delete the argument of C in the realization function, we can uh, already draw uh, this reduced normal form. Okay. Now the question is, uh, when two game structures with different uh, extensive form, uh, as to reduce normal form that are isomorphic. That mean up to relabeling of players and action have the same reduced normal form with respect to terminal paths. And we, here we say with respect to terminal paths because in, liter in literature, usually, the, the normal form and the reduced normal form are taken with respect to consequences or uh, with respect to directly with utility function, it depends. A way to characterize this kind of equivalence is to find all transformation of game structures that brings one into another one if and only if they share the same reduced normal form. 
Okay. What is done in, li in literature? Uh, in literature, we can find uh, invariant information, but uh, only with respect to game form. That is, game structure together with consequence function. So when we draw the reduced normal form, we don't, we don't write the, the terminal paths in the matrix, but we, we, we write directly the consequence associ associated with uh, these terminal paths. And uh, in literature, there is a seminal paper of Thompson saying that uh, two game forms share the same reduced uh, reduce normal form re with respect to consequences if and only if one can transform into another one through a sequence of uh, four basic transformations. And later, there were two extensions that we'll see in a few. For example, if I make an example here. If player one has to choose between A and B, and later he has to choose between C and D, just if, choose, if he chooses A, then it's the same that player one, theta one, theta two, theta three, It's the same that uh, he's already choosing between C, D, and B. Why? Because if he chooses A, he's, he's, just, he's already taking into account that he will have to choose between C and D. Another simple transformation is this one. There are two players, one and two. Player one has to choose between A and B, and player two has to choose between C and D, but they are at the same information set. It means that uh, is, player two is not able to, to, uh, to realize what is the action choose by player, player one. So, if we draw this tree in this way, that C, D, and then player one has to choose between A and B. When we are going to draw the reduced normal form, they are exactly the same, because it's like that they are playing together. But the fact is that player two is playing later without observing the action of player one, but he, he knows that player one has already made his choice, and here is the opposite. So in our model, we are allowing at each non-terminal node that uh, a non-empty subset of players is playing a simultaneous move games. It means that instead of these two games, if, what, if we want to represent a, uh, a simultaneous choice, we can draw directly that here player one and two are playing together. Player one playing A and B, and player two playing C and D. And here are the are the terminal nodes that are here. Okay, there are other two transformations that, um, that preserves the reduced normal form with respect to consequences, but we here we are just studying the one with respect to terminal nodes, so we'll skip it for now. Later, Kohlberg and Mertens made uh, an extension of the previous model allowing also chance player to, to, to play in the, game, uh, in the game form. And uh, fi uh, finally, Elmer Sereni uh, proposed a um, modification of, this, uh, of two of these transformations that uh, preserves the perfect recall. Why we are, calling, we are uh, talking about perfect recall? Because we are... Uh, we are talking about transformation just according to the rules of the game. It means that the personal features of the players has nothing to do with this transformation. So if we don't take into account the personal features of the player, then perfect recall has to be satisfied. It means that if a player 
choose at a certain point, and then he has to remember later that he has played. And these two nodes cannot be in the same information set. OK. There is another transformation that is just a technicality. And it's when there is a player who has to choose by force the same move, just one action. For example, here, player B has to choose by force the action X. And here, by force, player D has to choose action small d. If we delete play, uh, the action of player B here and uh, completely delete player D here, then the reduced normal form of these two game structures are isomorphic. And we should notice that uh, also the set of players is changing here. OK, the, um, the transformation of Thompson called interchanging or simultaneous moves is, is like this one, the second one. But it's uh, a bit more complicated. In this case, uh, player C is down here, has always to choose sooner or later, and he has always to choose between C1 and C2. The fact is that uh, whatever the action of player A or, or uh, the action of player B, he has always the same, choos uh, the same choices. So it's the same that player C is directly playing, playing together with player A. Or we can say the same together with player B. So if we move directly play player C at the root of the game, these two games share the same reduced normal form. The, the, the third transformation who is, that is like this one is when, uh, when a player chooses an action, but he, he already takes into account that sooner or later he will have to choose for sure between uh, some action, all at the same information set. For, for example, here, player A, if he chooses action, action T, then he's sure that sooner or later he will have to choose between X and Y. So it's the same that at the beginning when you have to choose, instead of T, we put directly X and Y. This direction of the transformation is called coalescing, and the opposite is called the sequential edge splitting. And the main, the main result of the... Uh, of this presentation is that uh, two game structures share the same reduced normal form if and only if, if, and only if one can, can be transformed into each other uh, through a sequence of these three, uh, through a sequence of composition of the, uh, these three basic uh, transformations. That is uh, deletion of forced moves, the first one, or interchanging, that is this one, or coalescing moves. And there are no other transformation which preserves the reduced normal form with respect to terminal paths. Okay. Okay, we can see also okay, start. <laughs> we can extend this model to chance players, but uh, in case there, there are chance players, uh, and the game structure is common, common knowledge between all players, then the realization function does not map uh, uh, profile of strategies into a terminal path, but it, ma but it maps profile of strategies into lotteries of uh, terminal paths. And uh, we, can, we can have the same result that two games share the same reduced normal form with respect to terminal paths if uh, if and only if one can be transformed into another one through a, through a sequence, uh, through a composition of the previous three transformations and two other ones. The first one is, that, is when uh, the chance player, uh, also this one is a technicality, is when uh, a chance player uh, chooses uh, choose an action with probability zero. Since all players know that uh, the chance player will never choose that action, th then we can directly remove th this, tree, this part of tree from the, from the game structure. And the second one is similar to, to coalescing here. 
meaning that if there is a chance player here and here with uh, some fixed probabilities, then uh, we can multiply the probabilities AC and AD to put it here. They still sum up to one. There is nothing, uh, nothing strange. And, uh, and the game structure, in a, in a sense, uh, collapses to, to a maximally reduced form. Why these transformations are important? Uh, because they provide a way to evaluate and assess uh, um, equilibrium concept and solution concept. Uh, meaning that there are well-known type of equilibria that are not invariant to th these basic transformations. Since the, the most important, the essential transformation important are this one and this one, we can see, for example, that the subgame perfect equilibrium is invariant only to the first one and not to coalition. And uh, we can also see that perfect Bayesian equilibrium, which is defined in the classical textbook like Mascolel, is not invariant to, 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 to no one of them. And with respect to solution concept, we can say that uh, there are various types of uh, extensive for rationalizability. For example, the one of Pierce and the one of Ben Porat and the epistemic characterization coming back from uh, Battigalli and Siniscalchi. And uh, we can prove that the, the set of rationalizable profiles is preserved across both of these transformations, but not uh, across the two other transformations of Thompson that, that they are called uh, uh, inflation and addition of super superfluous moves. Uh, the fact is that uh, this transformation preserves the overall information after each step. So if we are going to compute the set of rationalizable profiles, it's invariant here and here. And I think this equivalence, uh, other than providing a way to assess uh, solution concept and uh, equilibrium concept, uh, it allows uh, from, uh, from transparency and a uh, deeper understanding of what we mean by this equivalence. And that's all. Yeah. Thanks very much, Paolo. Other questions? Uh, I think you skipped over a slide with a sketch of proof. Can we see that slide? Okay. Well, uh, if we are going to deal with finite games, then we can find two invariant. The first one, who is uh, invariant across the trans this transformation and is strictly decreasing in this one, and the other one, the opposite. So if we sum these two kinds of invariants, uh, that is a map from the set of game structures to positive integers, then we saw that the sum of these two game invariants is strictly de decreasing. So at, the, at a certain point, uh, we cannot apply, apply any more uh, transformations. But the fact is that we, here we are dealing with uh, infinite games, and so induction arguments that do not apply. And we have to find uh, another way to prove this result. And the fact is that uh, each one of these three transformations apply independ independently at each non-terminal node. And uh, each application of a transformation has no effect on the potential application of, of uh, other transformation on, on other nodes. It means that we can apply at each non-terminal nodes all transformation that we can. And uh, at a certain point, uh, we will have to stop. And uh, at that point, uh, we, we will have a game structure in extensive form that, uh, that such that no transformation can, can be applied. And it can be proved uh, that uh, the set of reduced normal form with respect to terminal paths and the set of uh, of game structure maximally reduced, 
are isomorphic in the sense that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence and uh, the structure of the realization function is preserved from here to here. Uh, given uh, uh, for infinite games, the, the result is also conditional on the assumption of the axiom of choice. Uh, in particular, also for the existence of the information set, which is the coarsest partition at which each player has to choose, uh, has, has no way to infer with where he's uh, choosing. Um, Assuming the axiom of choice, we can prove that uh, this partition exists. The axiom of choice says that uh, given a family of sets, we can choose uh, one representative element from each family. And uh, we can prove that uh, given a family of partition of the same set X, then the intersection of all these partition is still a partition of the same set X. And the intersection of partition means that uh, means the coarsest partition which is finer than each one of them. That is exactly the, the definition of information set. And going from there, we can prove that there is an isomorphism with, between these two classes of games. Thanks. Um, uh, thanks, Paul. Could you uh, recall uh, the first theorem? That, Okay, so when you quantify all the invariant transformation, you are not referring to the ones you just listed, you just a... Uh, ones, the three basic ones that I listed before. So, you are quantifying over this historic transformation or you are quantifying over all possible transformation? Over all possible all transformation. possible transformation. Yes, I mean that if a transformation is such that a game can be transformed into another one and they have the same reduced normal form, then it is, it's by force it has to be a composition of these three transformations. And yeah, there are right, no right, right. other ones. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Great, okay, thanks. Are there more questions? Well, if not, let's thank Paolo again.